What is going on, Ocean Spotters? We are in Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York, to uh, check out Dina's One Wheel Park, which has a bunch of kid rides, a couple of roller coasters, and of course the famous Wonder Wheel. Let's go check it out. And of course, right next to Dino's on either side is uh, Lunar Park, including the world's famous cycle. We'll have a tour of that place eventually. We also have vlogs and videos uh, that we've previously done there. First off, you're going to see this classic uh, Mangles ride. Ride where they like go outside of the water. So here are the pony carts, which is by, by Mangles, which was actually manufactured in Coney Island, which is really cool. Mangles, these rides are all over the country, but this is one of the only ones, I believe, that you can actually ride where it came from. And this thing is probably 70 years old or older. And then you have the uh, little drop tower right there. The twist and shout. You're gonna twist and drop pretty gently. You have the Skyflyer, which is just a small little oval roller coaster. It is five dollars to go, and you go around eight times, so uh, you definitely get your money's worth there. Go along, you have the little boat ride there. Circular boats that float all around. And then the uh, jet ride right here with the uh, very patriotic paint job. They're not controllable, they just lift up. Have a little gun that they can play with. And then you have the beach buggy, which is a jump around ride where uh, you just bounce around as you go around. And there's plenty of places to get tickets all around. Uh, they're very easy to spot. Obviously, but here's a look at all the prices. One credit equals one dollar. If you buy the 50 credits, you can save a little bit of money. And here are all the prices for all the rides. The Wonder Wheel and the Phoenix are ten dollars, and then Spooks the Rama, the Haunted House, which is absolutely fantastic, is eight tickets. And then pretty much all the kiddie rides are going to cost five tickets. There are no wristbands though, so uh, be aware of that. This is a balloon ride, which is uh, kind of a teacup ride. You, you lift up, you're spinning, and you're twisting, and you can also uh, spin the car if you want. If you, uh, you ride with your kid and start spinning, it do a pretty good job at making them pretty dizzy. So due to the small radius of the cars, they're really easy to spin. Here's the tilt-a-whirl. I don't think that needs a bunch of explanation what it is. It's a classic tilt-a-whirl. Uh, your weight is really going to determine how things go, along with gravity. And then uh, Sea Serpent is the second kid coaster. A little bit bigger than the first one. Uh, you're going to go around, I believe, two or three times. Uh, down that teeny little drop and a helix and some bumps along the way. You need a carousel, and they have one. Very vibrant horses. It is a fiberglass, not a classic carousel, but I do like the paint jobs. They're fun. We have a little train here, a simple oval. The Dizzy Dragons, which are basically just a teacup, but you ride inside of a dragon. You have the convoy ride right there, where you're just going around a circle. Kind of the same exact idea as the train seat. Little motorcycle rides under this spinning umbrella. And then the Speedway, which is a mini whip style attraction, which you hit all the corners, you're just gonna whip around it really fast. And a lot of these rides, uh, if it looks a little bit newer, those can be ridden with 
your child if it's older like this one or the pony cards uh, that is for kids only all right let's let's go underneath that wonder wheel sign right there to head over to the wonder wheel and talk all about that and now you're gonna pass underneath these uh wonderful murals into the tunnel and that's going to be the back of the Eno's Wonder We Are Park where you're going to have the more thrilling rides including the entrance right here to the Wonder Wheel. It is $10 to go. You can pick a swinging car or a stationary car. I don't know why the heck you would pick a stationary car. That's just dumb. Although sometimes the stationary car will have a significantly less weight. So that is a uh, pro tip if you don't have a lot of time. Uh, this thing is 150 feet, and I said 102 years old. It is such a fun ride. I love it. Now, once you ride the Wonder Wheel, you're going to want to head to the left to their newest roller coaster. They have these awesome little history boards. You might want to read all about them. A lot of fun. Mostly about the Wonder Wheel. But here is the Phoenix. They, of course, named it that for, you know, the Phoenix who rises from the ashes as this did open in 2021, right after they were finally able to reopen after basically 18 months since the state of New York never allowed parks to open in 2020, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, they came back better than ever for a brand new shiny roller coaster. And it's a lot of fun, it's $10. It's a little short, but uh, very enjoyable. This is definitely the best part right here. Woo! And what's really cool about this new roller coaster is you're able to actually walk underneath the Wonder Wheel, which for at least the time that I've been alive and coming to Coney Island, you have not been able to be like right underneath the cabins over here. Great, you got that great view of them all swinging out beyond the rim of the wheel. It's pretty cool. Unlike Luna Park, Dino stuff have a full-fledged little arcade, a redemption counter, and mostly modern arcade games. But a bunch of ski ball in the back, some air hockey, Paw games, motorcycle games, shooting games. Got a little bit of everything, even though it's a little bit small. And we're like, right now, we're like right underneath the roller coaster, the sea serpent, which is kind of cool. Here is Book Arama, one of the better dark ride, classic dark rides in existence. I uh, don't want to really spoil too much, but uh, it's not everything that you see that's going to scare you. There's your hint. But uh, classic cars, I love them. Just a great dark ride, it really is. So classic. I, I don't know how far back this goes, but I believe it's like the 50s or something like that. It's very old, very old. And then they have the Haunted Hunter over there, which is a shooting gallery type game. And they take your uh, picture right at the opportune mind. Look at that, oh God, that's some good, good stuff. I like to tell this story. I think I've already told it in a vlog before, but I had a photo where I was just like unfazed, but my friend was the most terrified I've ever seen anybody. And uh, I forgot it in his rental car and he conveniently forgot it when he returned it, even though I told him to get it. We have Stop the Zombies, which is a Triotech 4D attraction. You can see those people there going at it. Uh, a little bit of motion to the seat, some some environmental effects like wind and rain and uh, interactive shooting dark ride basically. You're not moving, but uh, they're fun. There is, of course, uh, multiple locations of Nathan's, but there is one right inside of Dino's. Very, very distracted by that. <laughs> oh, I like the fire dogs here with this water shooting game. Those are fun. Uh, little dog in the fire truck. Uh, they have some bumper cars here. This is eight dollars or eight credits to do. They are modern ones, they're nothing too special. 
We will show you one little location outside of Dino's because it doesn't reserve its own video, but definitely are the better bumper cars if you're gonna buy some, go on some bumper cars. The El Dorado bumper cars. So let's show you them at the end before we leave this tour. Yeah, another shooting game here with the Zombie Hunter off to the right. And you have the Thunderbolt, which is a uh, Matterhorn type of attraction. This one goes forwards and backwards. Lots of loud music and uh, a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna head down and to the left and we'll show you the El Dorado bumper cars. Just as a little bonus. If you'd like a tour of everything else Coney Island that's not Lunar Park and Dino's Wendell Wheel Park, because we basically left Wonder Wheel Park at this point. Comment down below and maybe we'll do that in the future. All right, once you go by all the uh, freak shows, right before you get to Nathan's and next to the McDonald's apparently. They're not open today, but here are the El Dorado bumper cars, uh, auto scooters rather. Bump your ass off. I love that sign. Oh, they are open. There's also a arcade in the back. These are $8 to ride and what sets this apart from a lot of bumper cars. It's just the atmosphere. It's like a party basically and it's definitely the better choice from Dino's Wonder Wheel, Wheel Park. But that's it for Dino's. It's a cool place and obviously the, the Wonder Wheel is one of the most iconic Ferris wheels in the world. So go check it out. Thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Coaster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe because we have plenty of tours from around the country.